Undowdo. Undowdo. Why do I say undowdo? Un stands for undoing the harm. It stands for unimagining this bullshit world that we have created on top of the idea of uh, uh, financial tech that now is making close to 50% of all national profits. That's about destroying the natural environment, driving species to extinction, polluting our, our oceans, destroying our rivers and our, our, our forests, and, and ultimately putting us in boxes, enslaving us in debt. That's what we're going to undo. And then we're going to basically unimagine and then create the unbelievable world using FoundUps, etc. FoundUps, etc. is a blockchain that is going to happen next year either as its own blockchain or as Ethereum Classic that I, we rebrand as our own entity and we and we make Ethereum Classic FoundUps, etc. or etc. FoundUps. It means basically ETC, etc. Right? Etc. 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 It means FoundUps everything. So why is FoundUps so important? You see, long time ago, I figured out what was wrong with the planet, what was wrong with our whole society, and what was driving it to collapse. I realized that in order to fix it, I needed a new framework. So I developed and conceived something called the Open Innovation Framework, and I have lots of talks on it that goes way back to 2010. I shared this framework in 2012 to a guy called Nihao Elisi, who I was trying to recruit to build the framework. His, he was the mentor, or we say in Japan, the senpai to a young developer genius called Vitalik. And ultimately, because of, obviously, he knows my connection with him, he used Vitalik to develop a white paper based on my work, engineering my work, using um, Satoshi's blockchain technology in, com in com combination with my work to develop Ethereum. The core thing in my work is something called an open corp. An open corp actually is just a DAO. It's an autonomous entity that drives um, uh, companies attached to this open innovation framework, which is, which is the blockchain, which is Ethereum. And he said, your idea completes. This idea of the DAO completes everything. Well, why did I build all this? It's to change what I call a little line of code. It's not really code. But our, everything that's collapsing here is because of this little line of code. And I'm using that in metaphor. It's not actually code. But think of it as code if you're a coder. That little line of code that is the underlining thing that, collap that is collapsing our planet is called CAGR, Compounded Annual Growth Rate. I believe that CAGR was probably invented in the, in the 17th, 18th century as a, as a, as a, as a, a mechanism to drive uh, investors or a version of it, probably not the final version, but a version it started to drive people into investing into the Industrial Revolution to get rich people to say, hey, we can keep returning you more money because in CAGR, it treats the planet as infinite. There is no end in CAGR. It's infinite. And if you take a bottle of water and say, this is our planet, or a bucket of sand and start pouring it out, pouring it out, pouring it out, guess what? The planet is finite. And it's insane to think that we can have infinite growth on a finite planet. And I realized that back in 2010. So, what do we do and how do we fix it? Well, we fix it by changing that code and replacing it with something very simple called CABR. Now, CABR, there's aspects of CABR that exist and have been come about. Now, again, back in 2010, when I conceived this, I didn't call it CABR. I actually didn't have a name for it. Um, but the idea is very simple that we value on good. So the valuation of corporations, the valuation of ideas is based on their goodness and their effect on the planet. And it is this valuation equation, this little bit of code that's going to sit in an autonomous agent called the noodle that's going to, that's going to basically have access to gas, which is ups, which is our virtual currency, 
um, that is ubiquitous, which means there is no cost to interchange. So like when you get dollars to pounds, you pay the exchange rate. There's none of that with, with ups. And by changing this little line of code, all of a sudden what happens? Banking, fintech, startups, VCs, angels, all of these people become redundant. In essence, what happens is they become and go the way Encarta did when Wikipedia. And I'll tell you the story of Wikipedia. Jimmy Wales, this is my, my creation of what I believe happened. There is no a theory of, you know, he's never come out. But I believe Jimmy, who's a Floridian, had this idea of a decentralized startup. He, and, and he went to Silicon Valley and said, hey, I've got this idea. It's a decentralized encyclopedia, and it's going to be written by everyone. And they go, Jimmy, 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 you got to be insane, you little Floridian crazy guy. Because, you know what? In Carta, Microsoft has launched an encyclopedia five years ahead of you. Five years ahead of you. Did I tell you? Five years ahead of you. And not only that, they're funding it. They're going after some big boy called Britannica. Jimmy, you've been smoking too much of that ganji. You need to go back and what, wiki, Wikipedia? Too long, no good, no, no one's gonna, what, people wanna read an encyclopedia that's written by some, some dirt farmer, some farmer writing this, they're gonna read that shit? Puh, go away. <laughs> that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Well, Jimmy goes back to Florida, he's like, I know I'm right. I know this is huge. I see the paradigm. Very much similar to me when I spent three years from 9, 10, or actually, yeah, 11, three years reaching out to Dave McClure, who finally blocked me, right? That's right, Dave McClure blocked me. Reaching out to Eric Reese, who just ignored me. Reaching out to Hitam, who again humored me. Reaching out to all these guys saying, I have the solution, people. Listen to me, this is a solution. But they couldn't see the paradigm because they're all just, in my view, kind of like, employees push a pencil pushers who just basically made it big on their on their uh, on their capital returns for me involved in a startup they're not innovators I'm an innovator I'm an inventor I'm a person and, and only 2.5 percent of the population are people like me okay and that's according to the law of diffusion of innovation the law of customer adaptation and ultimately it is it is this this innovation that's going to change our planet by simply changing this little line of code. And then in the future, found ups or D startups, decentralized startups, are ultimately all going to be built on the goodness they do to our planet. That's it. We are going to fork the planet. That is ultimately what I want to do. I want to fork the planet. Everyone is talking about the fork of Ethereum, fork. You know, Ethereum and Classic, understand, I am forking the planet. That is what I am setting out to do. And I'm using the blockchain as a means to do that. My name is Mike Trout. I'm here on a mission to save the planet. And I've been saying this for a very long time. And I have exciting news. I've got the, the godson of Frankie Sinatra who is supporting and getting behind Foundups with a tune of $5 million to begin with. I have a friend of his, Chico, which I believe is going to match his bid, right, with another $5 million. I'm going down to South Africa to meet his family, his father, and the rest of Mr. X's and Mr. Y's out there to leverage that $10 million to $100 million. And I'm going to basically be launching... A suit to get back the Dow because the Dow is mine. The Dow is for the 99%. No, the Dow is, is not for the 1%. I'm going to get the Dow back that I put in the Creative Commons in 2010. And I have documentation to show it. I have a whole presentation to show it. And ultimately, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to require and do a Colonel Sanders and say everyone who has a Dow, and maybe they don't because no one's really interested in Dow right now because it got hacked, right? So the timing is perfect. They don't see the value in the DAO, but the DAO is the most important thing in the whole system, right? It's what ties it all together. And what I'm going to do then is do what Colonel Sanders did. It's like, you have my recipe, then ultimately give me a dollar. Well, I'm going to say give me 1% of the gross valuation, and we're going to put it into a fund for the 99%. That fund is to launch Foundups. And that fund 
is going to make our coin ubiquitous because there's not going to be any gas charges for using or an exchange charges for using our our uh, transfer of mechanism right our coin um, and like when you mine there's no transfer fee or, or, or usage fuel fee they call it fuel cost of fuel um, ups will be ubiquitous so if you are a miner of Bitcoin if you're a miner of ethereum if you're a miner of whatever you can automatically transfer that coin that you have into ups ups is going to be the coin everyone has because it is the coin for upstarts it is the coin for found ups it's the coin that's ultimately going to undo and unimagine this bullshit world that we have created on capitalism for the benefit of a few it's going to stop inequality and ultimately it's going to free us and it's going to usher in what I call the do, the do, undow do, do, <laughs> do. The do, I got a mosquito hit me in the eye, all right, the do. <laughs> I don't know what that meant, sorry. I said undow do and, and the insects just want to like jump on me. Undow do is the person who 6,000 years ago saw my coming. Or maybe I'm him because in quantum mechanics there is no time. In quantum mechanics, or even in, in quantum scale, we are all part of everyone. But Undow Du is the name that I call my mentor, my leader, my god, if you want to call it that way, define it that way. Um, my demon, my universe. Undow Du is ultimately everything, everyone. Undow Du means everything, everyone. Undow Du is undoing, ushering the Tao, and bringing about the Du. And the do will happen when the Tao becomes level seven. And at level seven, let me tell you, the world at level seven is going to be a world of paradise. It's going to be a world of Venus projects because that's the kind of change that, the, uh, that a level seven Tao will usher in. We're at level zero Tao. And think of it, it's kind of like the doubling, the doubling, the doubling, right? Um, at level zero and then level one, level two, level three, every time a found up launches at that DAO, it becomes its own DAO. So at seven levels of iteration of found ups, the scales of the m money that will be uh, uh, um, built up on the, each of those DAOs, which are all connected together through an autonomous agent called the Noodle, which sits on the central DAO, that will allow projects to basically race up these DAOs and will allow for us to launch major world-changing type events. My name is Mike Trout. We are going to fork, fork, fork the planet. That's right, fork it. Remove Kagger, replace it with Kaber, and in doing so, change everything. It's that simple. And it's so simple, that's why I have investors giving or pledging right now, we're getting all the paperwork done, to put in $10 million. Because I finally can communicate to folks what it is we're doing. It's been a seven year journey for me, my friends. Seven years. And as of the 20th, which was the seventh year anniversary of Found Ups, overlooking the FinTech capital of the world in Shanghai, the adventure finally began.